So welcome back. I'm just doing a short video midweek. I'm going out photographing on Saturday, I hope, in London, if the weather's not too bad, with some Rarity Retro 400S. Now, I just thought I'd show you a little quandary. Which camera should I put it in? And there's a reason for, the, for what I'm doing to explain something to you. Should it go in the Canon EOS 100 or should it go in my Olympus OM20? What if I were to tell you it cannot go in the Canon EOS 100 and there's a reason for that. The reason is that the Canon uses infrared to transport the film. It counts the sprockets, I believe. Now, if I'm wrong about this, can you please tell me in, in the comments? Because this is what we were always taught years ago when these new Canon cameras came out when they were new back in the day. And uh, they told you not to put infrared film in. Because the Retro S is super panochromatic, it means it can go into the infrared spectrum. So I've not only got an ordinary black and white, lovely black and white film, I've got one that's infrared and also I can put other color filters on so I can get a super wide variety of different shots of the same thing if I wanted to. Now underneath you can see the Agfa portrait color film which is a 160 ISO film. I'm going to be using that in a video but I need your help on that and I'm going to change the shot now so you can see close up. Now what's kind of peculiar about tonight is I'm using my macro lens to film this because I can't be bothered to change lenses between shots so I'm, that's why I'm using uh, it's this, the macro lens now so I, don't have to, I can literally change my shot without actually yeah anyway so I'm just going to show you something on the Agfa portrait I need your help with. So first off I just want to talk about the, this Agfa film it was meant to be a film for portraits 160 ISO film they did actually three I think it was Optima an ultra and I've used the ultra back in the day and I used the portrait back in the day. Now the problem I've got is it talks about the expiry date and I can't work out if that's meant to be 1092 is the expiry date or year 2000 is the expiry date. This is the problem I've got so if you can let me know in the comments below if it's year 2000 because I have to change the exposure of the actual film based on how old it is. This is one stop a year. So if you can tell me in the comments below if you think uh, the expiry date was 2000 or if it was 1992. Now, I think 92 was quite close to the date, date it was released, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a bit more research. I think it's 2000, so I've got to, probably gonna uh, you know, uh, change the exposure by two stops. Um, can you let me know in the comments if you know any different? Thanks. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video at the weekend.